Hello students, welcome, khush and hosh gal dinas. Today we are back with our discussion on Hera Gabler, major characters and themes. Uh, I'll try my best to cover the themes today, but uh, let's carry on the discussions uh, from the discussion of the characters. I have been discussed the characters of uh, Hera Gabler and George Tasman with you. And secondly, I have also tried my best to explain the character of Hedda as a complicated character due to the psychosocial struggle it was uh, uh, portrayed uh, facing within the play, within the settings of the play and it uh, also depicts the very dilemma of the society that doesn't allow an individual to flourish in, uh, with freely in one's own self. Let's discuss the character of Elert Loveberg. Elert Loveberg basically is uh, also uh, a, an upcoming scholar and uh, he is Tasman's rival for a prestigious professorship. They both are expecting in future. Uh, but Elert has completed his book before George Tasman. Uh, which uh, Hedda tries to uh, burn, but uh, um, it and Tasman uh, he comes in the in the time and he tries to save that book and then later on he uh, tries to maintain that book with the help of T. L. Wisted. Uh, well, let's discuss the character. Uh, how how Loveberg actually is the one he. He sounds. Tasman's rival for a prestigious professorship as it is represented in the play, Elard Lauberg is a visionary historian and sociologist. He is also uh, very much like Hedda. He has very similar character traits like Hedda. He is also portrayed as a free bird, just Hedda wants to be uh, a free bird. Uh, but uh, he is also like Hedda. Uh, he has uh, a passion for living the life with its full zest and with, with his own free will. He is ill-adapted to modern life. In his case, he's unable to control uh, his um, uh, habit of drinking. Uh, but he uses to drink in moderation. The, the terrible thing or the despairing thing about the character of Loveberg is that, that as Ibsen has noted, that he wants to control the world by seeing into its future, but he can't even control himself. If we compare this this trait of his character with Hadda's passion for controlling the world, then they both have uh, a kind of similarity in their mindset. They both want to live a free life. They both want to control the world. They both want to have a command over the lives of others. When Lauberg comes back into Hadda's life during the play, uh, Lauberg's relationship uh, with Mrs. Elvisted, T. Elvisted, had his friend, has also been flourished. And uh, she has tried to uh, guide um, Lauberg towards a normal lifestyle. And he, in on that time in the play, he's coming, he's represented coming back to the normal life. But this just inflames Hada and she becomes jealous of uh, Lovberg as well as of uh, T.L. Vested and she plots a very uh, heinous thing against uh, Lovberg and uh, Tia. This just uh, ultimately breaks the heart of Tia and uh, Lovberg both. They both uh, just uh, get hurt in the play and uh, this also leads to Lovberg's destruction because uh, Hedda she tries to she has tried to uh, burn the book and uh, Loveberg in when he realizes that he has lost his book he uh, just uh, 
gets furious and he just uh, behaves in a furious way heather tries to drag him back to the same life of uh, disparity and same life of a uh, 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 drinking lad but uh, heather herself has to suffer uh, with with the with an unfortunate uh, incident Uh, or with an unfortunate situation due to due to this heinous trap she is created for tia and loveberg let's discuss M- mrs elvester means tia elvester and other uh, individual who is entrapped by the society who is represented that Uh, the one is trapped by the society uh, to live a socially accepted life she is a uh, mrs elvested is a slight woman with soft attractive features with large blue eyes that tend to protect with a scared questioning expression this very scared and questioning expression represents the quest for individual for asserting one's own uh, identity and uh, she has whitish and yellow hair and uh, is a uh, a rich lady she has married to a rich man she is younger than hera gabler and uh, she is also represented as romantically involved with george tasman after elit loveberg's fall from the social grace uh, uh, it was mr and mrs elvested uh, who just welcomed loveberg into their home as a tutor for their children during that time mrs elvested served as loveberg's helpmate and muse and she uh has tried her best to bring him back to normal life and uh in that very process she just uh, uh falls in love with the uh, elert loveberg so on one hand he is also represented as had a gabler's lover and on the other hand he is also represented um uh, uh, mrs elvester's lover Mrs Elvested though she is a simple and uh, slight woman with a clear heart with a sincere heart so uh, she at the end she finds a good company uh, with whom she can work and it was the company of Mr Tasman uh, let's move to another character uh, let's say that uh, it's another witchy character and this character is the character of Judge Bragg Judge Bragg is a shrewd and respected man in the society a cynical old bachelor and a regular guest at the Tasman's villa now his uh, visits to Tasman's villa uh, are not because of uh, his friendship with Tasman he also enjoys the company of Hedda and Hedda also likes to uh, get more and more informations from those visits of judge brack uh, about her surroundings he is a gentleman of 45 uh, stocky and elastic in his movements with short almost black hair and lively playful eyes he takes pleasure in having a hand with other people's business again this very char- characteristic is the characteristic of hada perhaps it's the characteristic uh, it's the major or the dominant characteristic of our personality trait of the whole modernist society that they want want to uh, interfere in others affairs and they want to exercise their will on others life so uh, this is not only represented or this is not only depicted in the character of hada this is also depicted in the character of hilert lauberg this is also depicted in the character of judge brack he pays regular visits to uh Tasman villa because he is also working for Tasman's finance and uh, he delivers professional news to Tasman uh about his uh, uh position in the future 
Judge Brack doesn't only uh, like the company of Hedda and Tasman, but he actually enjoys the company of uh, their maid. He is interested in their ma maid. This is also, uh, this can be also a taken as a reason for his regular visits to Tasman Villa. When we talk about the major themes of uh, this very play, uh, there are four to five major themes. Uh, but I'll discuss uh, the themes in my next video. Uh, thank you so much for today. Allah Hafiz. Settle down in the place of dreams.